See, the more that I get, the more that I need, 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 need So pray for my, pray for my, pray for my soul I got a, got a disease in his soul Caught it so easy like the common cold, oh, ooh, ooh Tossing and tossing and turning around Trying and trying to sweat it all out Kicking the habit that's pulling me down, ooh, oh I don't wanna be 85 saying I think I missed it, I was chasing money I don't wanna be 85 cents Go! Worry not, we saw it coming at ya! <laughs> Art staff and students, it's Motivation Monday. And since our character trait of the month is kindness, and we're really concentrating on, again, creating that ripple effect, making kindness contagious here at Lombard Middle School, we definitely want more kind behaviors than behaviors that are hurting um, one another. And so what better way than to kick off our Monday announcement, but with Kid President sharing 20 things we should say more often. Let's take a look. 20 things we should say more often. Number 20, thank you. And not just on Thanksgiving, every day. Number 19, excuse me. Number 18, here's a surprise corn dog that I bought you because you're my friend. There'll be more corn dogs, the more happy people. This is a good idea. Corn dog for you, corn dog for you, corn dog for you. Number 17, I'm sorry. Number 16, I forgive you. Number 15, you can do it! But don't say it if it's something you can't do. Number 14, another thing that we should say more often, I have barbecue sauce in my shirt too. Before you say something about the barbecue sauce on somebody else's shirt, take a look at the barbecue sauce on your own shirt. Number 13, please. Number 12, Everything is going to be okay. Number 11. Oh, you got me a corn dog too? You shouldn't have, buddy. Number 10. I don't know. I know a lot of people who need to say that. My sister. <laughs> Number 9. You're so awesome, I named my dog after you. Wait, wait, wait. That could hurt someone's feelings. I mean, boat. I named my boat after you. Wait, who even have the boat? You're so awesome, I legally changed my name to yours. Wait, that's super creepy. And, and just tell people they're awesome and mean it. Number eight. Hello, person that I never met before. Here's a high five. <laughs> Number seven. My sports team is not always the best sports team. It takes a big man to say that. Number six. Nothing. Sometimes that's the best thing you can say. Number five. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything, but it's just really funny. <laughs> Number four. I disagree with you, but I still like you as a person who is a human being, and I'll treat you like that. Because if I didn't, it would make everything bad, and that's what lots of people do in this lane. Whew, I need a water break, y'all. It's okay to disagree, but it's not okay to be mean. Number three. Sometimes you just gotta scream. <laughs> Number two, life is tough, but so are you. Sometimes we all need to be reminded to keep going. Number one, something nice, anything. If you can't think of anything nice to say, you're not thinking hard enough. So what about you? What do you think people should say more often? Leave a comment below and let's hear it. Oh, and I got a bonus one for you. Something that we should say more often? Let's dance. Kid President always shares important messages in a humorous way. But I challenge all of our homerooms to think of 20 phrases or things we should say more often here at Lombard Middle School. Can you create your own list? 
We do have a birthday to celebrate. We've got school-wide shout outs. We also have a behavior expectation. So let's get ready to celebrate a Lombard birthday. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. We celebrate your life today. We're glad that you were born today. What we don't need today, you know what we need today. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. We celebrate your life today. We're glad that you were born today. What we don't need today, you know what we need today. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. You have an enjoyable birthday. And now let's head to the courtyard and hear what's on the lunch menu for today. And thank you for sharing the lunch menu. And just for those students and staff that are submitting uh, different types of videos for announcements, I do have October 12th taken care of this week uh, and October 13th, but I do not have October 11th. So uh, if we have a class or uh, a group of students that would like to um, submit the October 11th uh, lunch menu, I would greatly appreciate it. And now let's get ready to put our hands together for some celebrations here for our school-wide shout-outs. All that shout out loud, stomp your feet to the ground. All that shout out loud, sing goodbye to the cloud. Our Monday school-wide shout-outs consist of our Students of the Week who will have booth access this week. We also have our two past lessons, students that have achieved two past lessons or more in their my path. And we're just focusing on math so far, but we'll eventually fifth grade, we will add some reading my path. So you might as well get a head start uh, before those school-wide goals come our way. And we also have 100% homeroom completion for our Sweet 360. Uh, so let's take a look at those students and classes that earn a school-wide shout out. Congratulations to those recipients of our school-wide shout-outs. Again, we're going to have some conversations this week. We're going to call it My Path Check-ins with students that are not accomplishing our, I feel, simple school-wide expectation of two past lessons in our My Path for math. We are seeing a connection between students that pass those two lessons and getting to that grade level status or growing. Uh, so again, we have that winter diagnostic that'll be here before we know it. So we really challenge our students to accomplish those two past lessons. It's all about effort. It's all about taking the initiative and that self-discipline to accomplish that expectation. Talking about expectations, we do have some expectations to review for this week. can follow the rules, I can follow the rules, and we'll have a good day when we follow the Lombard students, this week, instead of just focusing on one expectation, we need to continue to get better at the ones we've had thus far uh, for this school year. So we are going to review Kafuti, keeping hands, feet, and other objects to yourself. We are noticing students are starting to improve on resolving conflict by either going and getting an adult 
or using words or again recognizing to walk away and then again come back to the situation or possibly just ignore and staying out of the space of that student that is causing that conflict. But I would like to add one here. We're starting to see a lot of students show some display of affection, meaning you might be great friends and so we're holding hands or we might be walking down the hallway with our arm around. And so I want to make sure we understand that here at Lombard, we are focusing on keeping hands, feet, and other objects to yourself. So again, there are no, um, you know, hugging and holding hands and those type of things at Lombard Middle School. So again, we talk about different types of ex expectations and different settings. And here at Lombard, we are keeping our hands to ourselves. So I want to make sure that our students understand that because you could be added to that list again to lose recess, uh, to lose that. So socialization opportunity in the lunchroom if you are not keeping your hands uh, to yourself. We're also concentrating on, again, walking in the hallway, keeping our voice level at a one, and again, keeping the hands, feet, and other objects to yourself in the hallway. Um, most of our students are doing a great job and we're seeing some improvement here, but we need to keep getting better to create the safest possible hallways we can at Lombard Middle School. And we also are focusing on being responsible, remembering your Chromebook and charger, because it is extremely important that you have those materials because the only thing that we have available are loaners that aren't of best quality. And those loaners do stay in the classroom, uh, which means you would have to get a loaner from each uh, teacher and sometimes those teachers don't always have some available uh, because of the amount of students that are not remembering to bring your Chromebooks um, to class. I also want to add uh, a reminder, especially since our fifth grader knew, we have a program here at Lombard Middle School called Go Guardian. Over the weekend, I even received a lot of different types of notifications. Anytime you ex Google search or anytime you explore a site uh, that would have explicit content or inappropriate content for your age, we're going to get a red flag sent to our email. I did make some phone calls over the weekend to families to make sure those families were aware of the time stamp of when students were browsing different types of sites or being on things that are blocked by the school, but we know that some students understand how to get around those, but that doesn't mean that we still don't receive notification anytime you're using school property and accessing sites that are not school appropriate the principal the dean the assistant principal are going to be notified and therefore your families will be notified so i want to make sure to remind our students we also want to practice digital citizenship making sure that we are being responsible and mature um, i'm seeing a lot of immaturity when it comes to just different types of behaviors we're showing um, with technology so those are some reviews and reminders um, i do want to let our students know that um, mr booker mr spring and i talked about our fall dance which is sponsored by our student council that will be taking place october 28th we did make a decision that if we have major referrals such as fighting um, any type of stealing, any type of um, insubordination, meaning you are just completely refusing to um, complete uh, a task that an adult is asking you to do, or any type of major uh, disruption in a classroom. The consequence that could be earned from the student committing that uh, behavior uh, could be a loss of privilege to the school dance. And so we just wanted to make sure you were prepared for that. We're not going to double punish, so if we choose to do an out-of-school or in-school suspension, um, we're not going to have you also miss the dance. However, we could just use the missing the dance, um, and so I want to make sure that you are aware of that because if we feel there are behaviors that are unsafe in our school, um, we feel that um, the dance uh, should not be an option for some of our students. So I just want to make sure that you were aware of that. Um, so you could, again, focus on um, doing uh, what's right and following our school-wide expectations every single period of the day. And uh, we have some fun dress-up days coming. Um, our staff in your homerooms can share some of those. Uh, but we do have some exciting things planned. Friday is a one-hour early uh, release uh, due to our quarter ending and staff getting those grades um, submitted for your families to see. So again, it's a week to work hard. It's a week to, again, show that kindness and most importantly, 
be a Zephyr. Show that pride, follow expectations, because that's what we are about here at Lombard Middle School. I hope everyone has an absolutely marvelous Monday. It's a way to kickstart our week with motivation. So let's spread that energy and enthusiasm today. Go be great, Zephyrs.